What up and what's poppin'? It's your dog Breeze from Fahrenheit 451, part of the 4th and Gold Network, where we're burning the books alive. Our beautiful slight heater of a 10 and 4 run came to a nasty collapse as we went 1 and 3 on NBA bets yesterday. Back with my best bets in the NBA for January 19th, I have 10 of them. Six official plays, four leans. Let's dive straight into it. First up, give me Paolo Bancaro. Under 26 and a half points, minus 104 odds over at FanDuel, where all the odds will be for this video. Just because I'm playing at FanDuel doesn't mean that you have to. Shop around for the best prices. Just real convenient for the video's sake. Um, Paolo Bancaro, under 26 and a half points. Philly gives up the seventh least points to power forwards. He's went under this line in the last five straight games and under this line in the last four out of five games versus Philly. Next, give me Paolo Bancaro, under one and a half three-pointers made, minus 130 odds. The Sixers give up the fourth least threes to power forwards. He's went under this line in the last four Two games with zero three-pointers made and under this line in the last five out of six. He's went under this line in the last four out of five games versus Philly, including one game with zero three-pointers made. Next, give me the 76ers, Philadelphia 76ers, minus five on the spread at minus 108 odds. The Sixers are nine and one in their last 10 matchups versus the Orlando Magic. They're seven and three against the spread in those contests. All right, so Franz Wagner is out, and the Magic have been playing some nasty ball. Um, I, you know, I showed you the record in the last ten, Philly versus Orlando. Um, we're going Paolo Bancaro unders for one reason: Franz Wagner is out, so there's not enough Jalen Suggs, Caleb Houston, OKK, you know what I'm saying, to go around that I think will suffice to beat the 76ers. One and two, just be like a sufficient scoring. So with that being said, Paolo Bancaro is going to be the feature score. You know what I'm saying? Like they know Paolo Bancaro is there to score the ball. So I think it will be very easy for the 76ers defense to key in on Paolo Bancaro and lock that shit down. You hear me? All right. Next game. Same, same. Tobias Harris, our boy, over 16 and a half points, minus 113 odds. He's cashed his line in the last seven out of 10 games with highs of 37, 32, and 27. Cashed his line in the last three out of four games versus Orlando with one hook. 25, 23, and 22 in those games. He's hit this line in the last two versus Orlando with Embiid in the lineup, scoring 17 and 16. Oh, excuse me. He's had 17 and 16 in the last two versus Orlando with Embiid in the lineup. All right. Next up. Aaron Gordon, this is going to be a lean. Next up, Aaron Gordon over 14 and a half points, minus 108 odds. Boston allows the 10th most points to power forwards. He's hit this line in the last three games with 15, 20, and 26 points. Hit this line in the last two games versus Boston with 17 and 18 points. Just to make a long story sweet and short, the Celtics are soft down low. All right. Next up, next official play. Michael Porter Jr., MPJ, over 15 and a half points, minus 120 odds. MPJ has hit this line in the last three and in the last five out of six games with highs of 25, 22, and 20 on two occasions. He's had 19 points in the last game versus Boston. That was a few weeks ago on New Year's Day. My next official play is going to be CJ McCollum, over four and a half assists. Super juice, minus 156 odds. Phoenix allows the ninth most assists to point guards. He smacked this line in the last seven out of 10 games. He's had four assists in the last nine out of 10 games. In the last four games versus Phoenix, he had nine, five, seven, and eight assists. All these games took place in 2022. My next lean is going to be CJ McCullum over 18 and a half points, minus 106 odds. Smacked this line in the last two games with 23 and 22 points. In the last two games versus Phoenix, he had 29 and 27 points. Uh. Next lean is going to be AD, the unibrow boy. Over 12 and a half rebounds. The Nets allow the sixth most rebounds to centers. He's hit this line in the last two out of three games. 15, 15, and 12 in his last three games. The last time that he faced off against the Brooklyn Nets, 
He had 18 rebounds. I mean, he's going to he's going up against Nicholas Claxton. Anthony Davis will grab as many rebounds as he wants to. Last but not least, my last lean. Shout out to King Dream. All right. LaMelo Ball over 26 and a half points, minus 106 odds. He's had 28 points or more in his last two out of three games since returning back from injury. In the last two games versus San Antonio, he's cashed this as well with 28 and 28 points. Um, 28 points twice. San Antonio allows the San Antonio allows the sixth the sixth most points to point guards. All right, so let me just I know that was a lot. So let me run back my official plays for y'all. Six of them. Paulo Bancaro under 26 and a half points. Paulo Bancaro under one and a half three pointers made. Philadelphia 76ers minus five on the spread. Tobias Harris over 16 and a half points. Michael Porter Jr. over 15 and a half points. And CJ McCullum over four and a half assists. Like, comment, and subscribe for your daily sports betting videos and analysis. Let's keep burning them. As always, I will see you tomorrow. Parlays and builders, meet me over on Twitter. Peace, love, and light.